If you're having a smaller account and not getting success as a trader, then this is exactly the right video for you. Now, depending on how you are using that smaller account, you could be completely a losing trader or you can build up a smaller account to a bigger account by learning exactly how to trade on a smaller account. Now, this is the guidance and the strategy that I missed when I begin my trading after this long journey that I believe that now it's time to share my strategy with you if you are trading on a smaller account. So don't miss out any part of this lesson where I will be sharing with you exactly how to trade on a smaller account so that you can build up your trading account over the long term. So if this is something you're interested, make sure you give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. So with that being said, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so what is first of all a smaller account? For some, maybe a hundred dollar account is a smaller account. For some, maybe thousand dollar. It is not important how much is in a smaller account. The most important part here is how you are using that smaller account as a trader. Now, in my long training, thousands of trader, what I have seen that some trader has a goal in mind to get rich overnight. Some of them are focusing on learning. So if you are thinking about getting rich overnight by doubling up the account or you know flipping a hundred dollar into one thousand dollar overnight, then quit trading right now. It's not gonna work. You might be able to double account for a couple of times, but long term you will be a losing trader. Now, if you truly want to become a trader, learn to trade, then the first step is to have a goal in mind to learn to trade. Now, this is where it comes down to the next lesson as a trader. How do you learn to trade? Now, to answer this question, first day, if you have ride a bike or if you started to drive first day in your car, how did you do that? Definitely, you felt very uncomfortable. Why? Anything learning new become uncomfortable until we develop a, a neuro pathway in our brain. So when we use the smaller account to learn to trade, we are literally changing our brain to handle bigger account now when a, a bike rider first day try to ride a bike he or she falls down over and over again but over time the brain adapts because when you try to repeat certain thing in a certain way there is a neuro pathway is created in the brain that reflects and once a bike rider learn to ride a bike even he or she doesn't need to think how to ride it, it happens in autopilot. So similarly, once you learn how to trade on a smaller account with risk management, with applying the risk reward, with the strategy, as well as with proper trading psychology, you will be able to handle any account size as a trader. So to learn, to trade on a smaller account means that the first step is to learn the risk management. Now, not having risk management either in a smaller account or in a bigger account means that you are driving a car without a brake. So if you don't have a risk management plan, I have a free demo trading plan that you can download below this video in the description. You can download it and rewrite it for yourself where there is a simple risk management plan available for you to implement in a smaller account or any account size. Once you learn how to do the risk management, the next step is to have an optimal risk reward. Now the risk reward can be one is to two, one is to three, one is to one, 
or even 1 is to 5 based on your back tested results any strategy that a trader use must be back tested with optimal risk reward now there is a complex relationship between risk reward and winning rate in the simplest way if you are using 1 is to 1 risk reward then your winning rate must be above 60 percent or 65 percent but if you are using higher risk reward for example 1 is to 2 or even 1 is to 5 then your winning rate will drop automatically if i bring you an example for example one of our academy students has done a back testing on few instrument using five to one reward to risk where he risked one percent in each trade with a simple strategy and he maintained five percent reward for each trade now after a couple of trades what has appeared that he is almost in this few trade 11 percent up even he has a lot of losing trades so depending on your risk reward your winning rate will vary now the most important part here is to maintain a very strict risk percentage per trade so that you can remain consistent in your strategy once you found your risk management plan and you found proper risk reward the next step is to have a strategy now what is a strategy well a strategy means that you trade with an edge trading without a strategy means that you are gambling gambling means that you are flipping a coin even if you have few winning trades without trading without a strategy over the long term after 100 trades 200 trades you always always be loser because you need to pay commissions spread for each trade so with even flipping a coin with 50 percent probability long term you will be losing as a trader so what is an edge in trading let's look at the chart to see how to find an edge in the market okay traders so let's see how to find an edge in the market in a strategy now the edge doesn't have to be very complex as long as it has a little more than 50 percent now the edge can be even a trend can be an edge in fact it is a very important edge that i use in all my trades so what is a trend once you understand how to read market structure you know the directional bias in the market now as a trader we need to decide two important question now as a trader we need to answer two important question before we open our trade the first question is which way to trade now to answer this question we need to know the market structure that means that either this market is trending down or trending up now looking at euro usd for example in this 15 minute chart what we can see that this market in this time frame creating series of lower high which is in a downtrend and also lower low now if we look at this market what kind of market structure is forming creating series of lower high and lower low which is in a downtrending market now once we find the directional bias we knew that this is in a downtrend we only think of selling this market so we found the directional bias once we found the directional bias the next question that we need to answer is when to enter the trade where once we find the edge that means that directional bias the next step is to find an entry now the entry can be many ways based on what kind of strategy you are using now if you look at in this for example simplest way if we find a strategy just to trade with the trend with a swing low 
and swing high now if i for example sell this market just from this swing low and then keeping a stop loss above this swing high with two to one reward to risk what we can see that the market in fact has dropped from that level and hit that profit target now only simply understanding the market structure swing high swing low we can find an edge in the market now once we find the edge in the market we need to learn to trade with proper risk management and need to have a proper trading psychology okay so before i progress further our broker partner currently providing 100% deposit bonus so depending on your geography you can claim that 100% deposit bonus you can find link below this video you can use that link to sign up today to claim your 100% deposit bonus now once you found an edge in the market you found how to implement the strategy the last thing but the most important thing but the most ignored part from most trader is trading psychology so what is trading psychology trading psychology is your ability to become emotionally resilient enough when you are trading this is where most trader fail to do that guys i can't emphasize more than this trading psychology is the primary indicator of your trading success so how can you develop that trading psychology that will always keep you in the winning position to develop a sound trading psychology the first step is to think long term for example you can think of okay tomorrow i'm gonna flip my account to double and i'm gonna quit my job that's not gonna work right so trading psychology means that each trade consider as a part of the bigger goal or as a learning process so that you can detach your emotion from each trade now when you look at bigger picture you are not looking at individual trade or individual loss but thinking of long-term success as a trader so that you can follow the plan and the strategy without being emotional for each trade now in the beginning it's hard and that is why i would highly recommend to watch all the videos in the playlist of this channel where also you can find a lot of information how you can develop sound trading psychology also i would highly encourage you to watch all the live trading session that i am uh, doing every single day monday to friday to help the community to learn and grow as a trader i strongly believe that trader you enjoyed this very important lesson how to trade on a smaller account if you enjoyed make sure you give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet thank you and i'll see you very soon trading live together